this is the new matrix inline cage feeder now what does this give you what other things can it do for you well <clears throat> sometimes when you're fishing you might only want to feed four six mil pellets micros not might not be quite right or you might want to fish a combination of baits like meat and hemp you can't do that on a normal method feeder so you have to use one of these now the beauty about this is is you put things like four and six mil pellets in you put you squeeze them in very gently don't don't pack them in and they'll come out some will the odd ones will come out as they hit the water and most of them will stay and sink to the bottom and leave a bed of, of bigger particle baits there when you're fishing I'll just put these on these are four mil normal four mil coarse feed pellets and I've damped them down ever so slightly not a lot you just put them in don't pack them in too tight just so that it's like that now odd ones of them will come out as it hits the surface but the majority of them will stay in when you're fishing in two foot of water an odd one coming down doesn't make any difference cast this one in Like I say, the key to this, wet your, don't wet your bait very much, just wet it a little bit and don't pack the, feed, the feeder too tightly. It doesn't matter if one or two come out as, as you cast in, as long as they all don't come out. And what you find is you just get a different presentation, as you'll see from the little bits of underwater clip, clips that we've done with this feeder. You'll see particles left on the bottom, very different than a method feeder or a pellet feeder where these all seem to clump together these seem to be spaced out you'll get odd ones falling through the water and it just gives you that different sort of presentation uh, and you can't like i say with a method feeder normal method feeder you can't put big particles in like six or four mil pellets Oop, there's one straight away What you'll find is with this method is usually it's not quite as instantaneous as a method feeder or a ground bait feeder. It usually takes a few a few casts to get the to get the peg going because you're leaving particles behind for the fish to feed on. But once they get going, it can be a lot quicker. And there's uh, you've less chance of the carp wafting the bait about when they're actually feeding down there because you're actually feeding bigger particles so they tend to pick at things more rather than suck the bait in Lovely little mirror carp caught on the Matrix inline cage feeder.